All right. One more again. Good morning. Waiting for Mr. Henry to come in. No, yeah, back again. Been called out. Uh, waiting for Omar Henry. So we're clean. We're draining the swamp today. Nah, we're draining the swamp today. We're draining Big James Swamp today. So we said, uh, he says he's going to show up. Yeah, I'm in a rocking chair with my switch, with my paddle next to me. Come on. Yeah, might be busy. The witch head will be busy. Where is he at? Yeah, Big J, yeah. Big J was looking for me. Big J don't have to look for me. He can come. If Big J wants to come in, he, he can come. He started his live stream right after I ended mine. And when I did get on, then all of a sudden he jumped off. So, Omar Henry, come on in. Well, I, well, he can, whether he lies, he doesn't lie. Proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. Do you have ideas? People say, duh. I'm looking for validation. If my work doesn't give me validation, then first thing I say, you should discard whatever I say. I'm not looking for credibility. If the work I do, that the videos I put up, the stuff that I actually say is not credible, you should discard me. And first thing I said, when I first started this channel, don't believe anything I say. First thing I say, do not believe anything I say. Find out for yourself. When I give you the red pill, you have to you have to see it for yourself. I have never said that you should follow me, believe me, think I'm credible, anything else like that. If my work doesn't back it up, it doesn't hold water, then it doesn't hold water. You shouldn't even view me. That's for anybody. I, will, I run open hangouts. Oh, he always says he'll debate anybody and enroll. Because last time Omar was on screaming and hollering, I was trying to make I was trying to have a conversation. But now he doesn't want he didn't want to have a conversation. I was, you know, I was uh Somebody emailed me and said Big J was looking for me. So I went to Big J's channel. You know, I actually got in the chat since he had my name on it. Then he rolled on out. So, Mr. Omar. Where are you at? You want the last time you screamed and hollered and clowned and all that kind of stuff. This time we're going to find out what you know.
Yeah, give him a couple of more minutes. Because I knew he would do that. I knew Big J would do that. As soon as I called him out to be to be one on one, um, he ignores it because I knew he was up and watching. And then he comes right behind me. Yeah, uh, Debo bike. Yeah, <laughs> taking chains. I did go to bed. Hey, X, what's happening? Yeah, well, he can. He's invited on. He's invited on. This time I will use the mute button if he starts yelling. See, I was being a gentleman last time. <sighs> I'll give him five more minutes. Last time he came on with a do, he come on uh, talking about I'm not Pookie and Ray Ray with a do rag on your head. Come on, man. Looking like Omar from The Wire. And then started talking about <laughs> Taoism and marriage. <laughs> and I said, dude, what's the definition of marriage? And, he, and then he started going off into something else. Anyway. There is no topic. This is a uh, mono and mono because he said any time. So I put his name on it. So maybe he'll come back and show up. Uh, whenever Angry Man wants to do a one on one, he's he knows my um, email. He knows how to find me. If he wants to do one on one, he'll say so. <laughs> uh, a lot of these dudes are man a lot of these guys have learned how to uh, argue they've been arguing with women for so long they've become uh, they become like women I hear them talking and uh, it sounds like hell I had I said my five year argues better than they do uh, can can, can uh, f black folks progress without black patriots yes they can uh, matriarchies are and patriarchies are systems, and if you run them right, um, they're fine. But you have to run them right. Um, Wakanda was probably a matriarchy, but it's run right because everybody knows their place and everybody knows exactly what they're supposed to do. You know, the women uh, respect the male's authority, respect male authority. You don't have this. In fact, sometimes matriarchies might even work better if they run right because the women respect male authority and they check the other women. Just like uh, when when uh, Shuri uh, flipped her brother off, uh, the child didn't have to say a word. <laughs> well, you know, well, you know, angry man, you get any time, you know, like I said, any time I know people look forward to it, but I'm saying any time. Angry man doesn't need me. He can hold court by himself. He does a good job of holding court by himself. He doesn't need me. Uh, what I'm saying is they don't take if if you want a matriarchy or a matri matrilineal um a matrilineal society, then the women will have to do their part. They don't want to they don't want to um they don't want to step up to the plate and do what they're supposed to do. They don't, you know, in other words, you have to take responsibility and you have to be accountable in a matriarchy or a matri matrilineal. Women are accountable for what they do. Um, out of wedlock births are, the, are basically in the purview of the women. There shouldn't be any if the women are doing their job. If the women are checking young women, then you won't have it. Men, men shouldn't have to uh, check women about out of wedlock births. That is that is a purview of women who who gets born is determined by the women. And the women should check other women. 
and the women back in the day it wasn't the guys or the males checking women in the black community about responsibility out of where like births it was their mothers and their grandmothers and their aunties what do you mean gary grant responsibility no what are you talking about The Native Americans talk about uh, matrilinear matriarchies. They work fine. You build whole civilizations out of matriarchies. The thing is, you er, everybody has roles. Everybody has roles in a matriarchy. And women and black women nowadays do not want to accept responsibility. You should, if you worry about out of wedlock births, you, they need to be checking their sisters. And they don't. Well, it, yeah, it's it's malformed. It was never done right. Okay. Nah, it's all right, man. I'm getting ready. He's uh, he got another minute before I uh, jump. And he was talking reckless. And he basically clowned himself for the most part. Screaming and hollering. He clowned himself. They were talking about his, he's showing off his stuff and whatever he is. It, you know, he couldn't answer simple questions. But uh, yeah, it, it, it basically, what is it? Uh, uh, was it uh, uh, Reverend Phil Valentine said a long time ago, it's a, it's a malformed or perverted matriarchy that we're in. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's what happens when you know, when the when you have an extended family. Um, the extended family comes and pulls in, but they also check that woman. Uh, because your idea of a matriarchy uh, is incorrect. If you know what a matriarchy or a, mat a matriarch or matrilineal society is, it's incorrect. Men, uh, there is a balance in power where men are actually put in position and women are support, but the women have their say. No, men have always run things. If you look, who's the chief of a, of, a, of a Native American tribe? It's not a woman. It's a man. Who puts the man, the women's council, the men and women's council come together and they put they put the uh, chiefs in power. And if chiefs aren't doing what they're supposed to do, the women's councils come in there and take them out of power. You have to understand what a matriarchy is, which most people don't. And either, and instead of saying what, instead of saying, uh, how is it a matriarchy? Study what a matriarchy is. John H., what is it that you want? John H., email me. Since you, since you want to get cooked for the second time, email me. Don't make a fool of yourself this time, okay? Email me. Now, if you want to have something to say, but don't make a fool of yourself because I ain't got time. OK, you just got you just made a fool of yourself on angry man's and we're not going to do this circular argument. OK, you're not going to do the female argument. Actually, the females, actually, the women actually argue better. If they if they have an emotional argument, they actually argue better. I have to give that, you know, my ladies actually argue better than you guys. So at least, you know, at least when they come with something, they will actually come from, if, if they're from their own experience, they won't go outside of what uh, what the argument is. You keep, you know, you know, my my ladies don't deflect like that. Uh, well, MGTOW Universe, you keep asking me a question. You need to study what a matriarchy is. Go read up on it. Go read up on it. You keep asking me a question, you know, okay? Uh, it it would it take too long to explain what a matriarchy is. Go read it for yourself. You're smart. Look it up. 
actually go read how, how matriarchy actually works. Uh, look up the uh, look up the um, uh, look up the icon and how it works. The women are in charge of the family or the family structure. The men are charge of the overall overarching structure, like politics and how things run on outside of the house. Women run inside of the house. That's how matriarchy works. That's like a Wakanda. Wakanda would women check the the women check the women in Wakanda and they defer to the men. Just like when there was a challenge and uh, he was going to challenge him. And, and basically the queen mother looked at him and said, uh, there ain't going to be no challenge. She said there will be no challenge today. In other words, we're not having it today. That is the balance of power, even though it's the men that are actually kings. They're in position to be kings. But the women, but the women actually, uh, they check themselves and they're in power and they're actually uh, um, deferred to the men because that's the way the structure is set up. But that, that, but that's the, what you have to. John H, where you at, man? I ain't got time for this shit. If you got something to say, okay, this is um, this is this. I guess this is challenge week. What do you mean, no such thing? There's always a balance, MGTOW Universe. There's always a balance. Other, there's, a ba there's a balance in everything. If you don't have a balance, you don't have a society. We agree to let our, our um, Plutarchs lead us because we get benefits from being in society. There's always a balance. When it gets out of balance, then you have chaos. There's, a, there's balance to the universe. In everything, if you go from from uh, physics to men's five theology to chemistry, everything has to have a balance. Now, nah, you Q Wilson, you're not challenging. Yeah, Q Wilson, you have plenty of time to challenge. <laughs> there will be no there will be no challenge today for you, Q Wilson. Well, first, look up what a matriarchy is. First, do some background material. I've actually actually did a uh, I did two videos on it. The icon. If you want to look up, look up the uh, up Native American matriarchies. You can actually look up the uh, the Aztecs. It was a matriarchy. Now, the matriarchies aren't the. Uh, in fact, if you really want to know about it, look. There's a good book called the uh, the, uh, the the in, in Indigenous Peoples History of the United States. She uh, by uh, I think her name is Roxanne Ortiz. I'm not. I think that's her name. But uh, in, her, in the beginning of her chapter, she actually explains how uh, Native American um, patriar uh, matriarchies actually worked. She actually described the structure. But uh, uh, you know, I mean, I can't. I can't spoon feed you guys everything. All right, I can't spoon feed you guys everything. You guys want to constantly be spoon fed. Yeah, they are they are com confusing matriarchy with a gynocracy, and I actually I actually did a video explaining the difference. Okay. Matriarchy is not ruled by ruled by women. In fact, the uh, conference on uh, matriarchy said uh, there's a difference between a gynocracy and a matriarchy. What we have in the, in amongst the black. Google, 
Google, Google, Google, Google Chrome. The bane of my existence. Maybe I'll build a new computer that actually works better for Google Chrome. Yeah, you ask a question, but you keep asking questions. I said you have to know the structure. You keep asking, you keep debating it um, and asking questions without research. Research it. I actually, I did videos on it already. We talked about this already. Nah, yeah, the Google Chrome actually crashed. So, anyway, it looks like John is not going to show up. It looks like Omar's not going to show up and Big J's not going to show up. Man, I ain't got nobody to dance with today. Now, actually, I'm a Sith Lord and uh, my underlings are afraid to show up. When v when Vader comes in and, um, and breathes through his mask, all the little... Uh, Dark side, dark forces actually back off. Now we we just cutting off wrist today. Now, what I'm saying is, if you, if if you study what a matriarchy is, and then we can have a discussion, because you keep saying that it's impossible that it you keep saying that it doesn't run that way, um, or it can't run that way, or it's not possible in. Uh, matriarchies were there well before patriarchies, okay? They were your first societies were matriarchies led by the uh, by the uh, queen mother of their or the mother of the tribe because she's because the women actually bore the children. So the 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 queen mother actually was actually leader of the tribe. Um, so you're saying for a hundred thousand years that there was no human society until patriarchies show up. If that's what you're saying, which is what you're trying to say, stop listening to white talking points. Dig in and find out exactly how a matriarchy actually worked. Uh, well, you were you saying how is that possible? You keep saying how is that possible? It was it's very possible and it did uh, and it worked very well for 100,000 years. So the thing is, people saying it didn't work. And that's coming from a white centered point of view. It did work because there's plenty of them that were around until uh, the patriarchy. Well, they actually uh, they still exist. They call themselves something different because you wish uh, living under Western dominance. Yeah, well, hostile adept. They don't, you know. They say they look at my at my videos, man. Um, like uh, Suren says, because niggas, niggas is hard headed. Okay, um, you can't teach them something. You have to some. You have to beat it into the heads of black folks. You can't teach. You have to beat it into. Like my grandson, I have to beat it into his head almost. You can't show him something. Uh, okay, re restate your question. If I got it wrong, restate it. If I got your question wrong, restate your question. I can only I can only go back go by uh, what you put up. Restate your question. What they call egalitarianism is what they call um, matriarchies, or, or what we call matriarchies now. Before it was just called normal. Restate your question. No, he's not in trouble. Restate his question. You know, I, I get this all the time about patriarchies. Restate your question. I'm not saying it's, we, we're trying to compare one to the other. They both work. They both have worked. But the thing is, you, you cannot bring patriarchal rules to a matriarchy and vice versa. And that's the problem. They don't work that way. It's just like trying to run uh, Android apps on iOS. 
You can't. That's all I'm saying. Instead of downing one one form of government or the other, one form one societal structure over the other, learn what's uh, what they both have. There's there's positives and negatives to both. There's positive. It seems to be as as the structure gets bigger. As the structure gets bigger and more urban, then you need a patriarchy. That's what it seems to be because we haven't figured out how to run a egalitarian society or or a matriarchy um, in an urban environment. It's, it's built for a rural environment. They just okay. If men are in charge in a matriarchy, the chief, not men, the chief, just like in a okay, MGTOW universe. If we have a president and the president is not doing what he's supposed to do as the elected official, how do we get rid of him? By women, that is. It's called a women's council. They have a woman's council that elect the chief. That's how women have their power. They elect the chief. In other words, he's just like a chief is not just is not an overlord. He's a servant. OK, he's the servant to the people. And the women's council come together with the men's council and because they've raised this boy and they actually put him to be chief. So if he's not doing what he's supposed to do, guess what the women's council does? They unelect him. The chief is not uh, a chief does not grab power from his own people. He's actually promoted by his own people. So if this, so if we, if we elect the, if we elect the president of the United States, how do we get rid of the president? No, the, the men's council and the women's council come together and give the chief the power. Okay, the people always have power, men and women. The chief is not just for show. He runs things. OK, you don't only say elect a chief or put a chief up there. A president is not there for show. He runs. He runs the administration, does he not? No, they don't. They pick They they pick the they don't pick the uh, sexiest man. They pick the most capable man. And they also, they also, they, in a matriarchy, they also have what? They also have what? They have arranged marriages. Well, we don't, what do we not have in a patriarchy, in this patriarchy? We don't have arranged marriages. No, well, I'm not, I'm not talking right now because I've done enough live streams. I say, go go look it up. That's what I'm talking about. You can you're actually confusing yourself. Go look it up. Look how the structure works. No, the, the, he has a president has his own duties. He's, he it's called the. I wish they would actually teach civics again. They call it what? They call it the what? The separation of powers, right? You guys understand the separation of powers, do you not? Even in Rome, you have a separation of powers. The people elected the people elect uh, elected their 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 um, their their emperor. Well, then, if if uh, Archer J, if you if uh, would you would if you would you elect uh, Derek Jackson to run your community? Women aren't. You think women are stupid? Women aren't that stupid. If you want, if you want to know, uh, if you want to know what a, what a matriarchy is, I gave you one example of. If not, if not, look up how they look up the Akan structure. It's the same thing. The women's council come together with the men, and they they actually put they actually put men in power to run the the uh, 
to to run the uh, organ run the uh, society. It's not about power. You guys keep thinking about dominance and power. It's not about power. It's about uh, efficiently running an organization. Uh, you have to experiment with the UBI. If you don't experiment, if you're going to implement it, you better experiment with it. If you if you're going to implement a UBI, you better experiment with it. That's what that's what they're doing in Sacramento. People kept saying it's not going to be it's the, it will never hit here. It's in Sacramento, and that the, I think they're the uh, second one, second city to actually do it. Yeah, well, it it used to be a republic. It was, Rome was a republic, or it, and then it became an empire, which is why you should read Caesar and Christ. So you get up to so you get up to speed of parallels between Rome and the United States because the United States was modeled after Rome as a republic. Anyway, I'm gonna jump off of here, y'all. Since uh, Omar didn't show up, Big J didn't show up, and uh, it looks like. Uh, John H. didn't show up either. Okay. But uh, like I said, you guys have to. Uh, no, they actually ran it in. I do believe they ran it. A, a, I think they do ran it the first time. They ran it on a small scale in. Um, I do believe it was in San Francisco and on, on a small scale. It might have been Oakland. Oakland, I think it was Oakland on a small scale. And I think they've uh, uh, actually expanded it in uh, Stockton. But it was Oakland on a small scale. India, they've run it in India already uh, on a larger scale. But uh, um, it, was, it was a small scale experiment in Oakland, I do believe, like a year or so ago. And I think Stockton is the most famous one. I think uh, I think there's a city in uh, Canada that's actually running a similar experiment. But uh, Stockton is not the first UBI. Uh well the the thing is this time I will use the mute button there will be no screaming because I want to it's not even a, a a debate it's more to see what the other person knows in other words all I I don't bring uh, oil I don't bring a, a heat what I bring is a rope and a chair and either you will actually uh, lift yourself up by the rope or you will hang yourself by the rope and most people have hung themselves but with their own rope that's what I that's all I bring a rope and a chair. You sit in the chair and then you decide what you're going to do with your rope. Either you're going to uh, advance yourself or you're going to hang yourself. Most people hang themselves. The debating dummies. <laughs> I need that book, Debating Dummies. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm going to jump. Uh, I got uh, a couple of videos they had it. <laughs> Well, th that's not a president. That is that is called a dictator. If you're going to kill everybody, it needs killing. Huh. Uh, I, do you know what? Um, if that's her experience, that's her experience. I can't say... Um, you know, I, I mean, I don't personally know the man. If if um, uh, if she threw him under the bus, if she doesn't have to be kind to him, you know, if he did, if he did something to her, he did something to her. I don't know, but I didn't, I didn't hear her throw him under the bus. And back in those days, what he did was not illegal. A lot of these, you know, there was more volunteers than there were victims. Let's put it that way. And she might have been one of those uh, volunteers. Hey, Kendra, what's going on? Yeah, I'm getting ready to jump off, though, Kendra.
because uh, uh, I've been stood. I've been stood up three times this morning, man. I, I I don't know how to feel about that. Big J stood me up. Omar stood me up, and uh, John A tried to get in. He stood me up too. Uh, I guess he still has fresh burns from. Um, uh, <laughs> he has fresh burns from uh, the Angry Man. See, Angry Man cooks. I, I said, I like to uh, slow roast my victims. Yeah, Eric, I, I've, I've seen her in person. Uh, I've, I've met her in person. She's actually better looking in person than she is uh, actually on TV. She, she's really uh, she's really good looking in person. She's much better looking in person than she is on TV, which is rare. More normally, it's the other way around. Yeah, King David was a man of war. But uh, King David also had balance. King David was also not a president either. No, yeah, that's that, that's that's the way it is. Well, David got shit done, but it was uh, it took his son to bring peace. His son got more done, and he was not a man of war. Who was who was greater, King David or King Solomon? Who was greater, King David or King Solomon? King Solomon was not a man of war. Who was greater? No, not neither. Solomon, exactly. Nope, Solomon. Who was uh, uh, who was the greatest emperor? Was it uh, Julius Caesar or his protege? Solomon actually expanded the country. He expanded the he expanded the kingdom. He brought wealth into the kingdom. The people were happy under Solomon. Because he chose wisdom over war. Augustus, uh, uh, Julius Caesar was a man of war, a man of action. But Augustus Caesar was the greatest emperor that Rome ever had. Solomon was about making his people better. He chose wisdom over war. King David, we remember because he was a warrior. And he he wanted a son that would be better than he was, which was Solomon, which is Solomon. Solomon was about a, a man of peace and prosperity, which is what people want. People don't want war. People, people die in war. War, war. When you have a war, that is actually a uh, political um, defeat to go to war. You try to do it without it because wars do nothing but get people killed and cost money. Uh, no, he was a man of time. He wasn't a gangster. He was a man of his time. He was a patriot. War when it's necessary. But who, like I, like I said, who was, who was remembered uh, as being the greatest king of Israel? It wasn't David, it was Solomon. Now you you choose you choose you you choose war when there's no other choice. Anyway, let me jump off of here. We're not doing um, <laughs> philosophical debates just as just now. So I'm gonna see you guys uh, later on. And uh, since I don't have any dance partners. I'll see you guys uh, uh, later on in the week. Peace.